Is Istanbul a good place to retire? Is it safe to live in Turkey? How much does it cost to live in Turkey? Is food expensive in Istanbul? How is health care in Turkey? Can foreigners own property in Turkey? What to do in Istanbul and many more? We will discuss in today's video Best place to retire Turkey Make sure that you are subscribed Let's travel the world together In English, the word Turkish comes from the ancient Turkish word Turk, which can be used as an adjective or a proper noun. In Turkish, the name of the country is Turkey. Turkey occupies Asia Minor and small portion of Europe. Its area is 814, 578 square kilometers. It is bounded on the west by the Aegean Sea, on the northwest by Sea of Marmara, Greece and Bulgaria, on the north by the Black Sea, on the east by Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan and Iran, and on the south by Iraq, Syria and the Mediterranean. Although Istanbul formerly Constantinople is the major city and was the capital of the Ottoman Empire. The first president, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, chose Ankara, an entire Anatolian city, as the capital in 1923. In Turkey, there are core concepts of Turkish people. Those are generosity, hospitality, community networks, nationalism, honor, Kemalism, and loyalty. Let's talk about a few of them. The concept of honor is deeply embedded in Turkish culture noticeably influencing people's behavior. A person's honor is determined by their personal actions as well as the behavior of those they are associated with. Therefore, if an individual does something dishonorable, their origins or family may be implicated as the cause. In this way, there is a cultural pressure on individuals to protect their personal reputation and the image of those around them. Turkey has a collectivist culture whereby strong loyalty is shown to familiar and social groups, as well as the broader nation. People's relationships with their neighbors and community are generally closer than what many from the English-speaking West experience. Friends are often very loyal, performing favors for each other on a regular basis. The Turkish community is often exceptionally generous, attending to those in need very quickly there is a cultural tradition in almsgiving, charity, influenced by Islamic principles. Selflessness is noticeable on a day-to-day -day level. Turkish people are known for their hospitality. 
but there are so many other factors that tend to make a fan out of anyone who meets them. From their amazing cooking skills to high value placed on friendship and family, here are some qualities the people of Turkey share. Even though traditions are important in Turkey, Turkish people also know how to let loose and have a good time. Just go to any Turkish wedding to watch even the oldest grandma dance, or visit a tavern to see Turkish people singing their favorite songs alongside street musicians. As well as their amazing cooking skills, Turkey people have many talents, whether they are traditional craftspeople, fashion designers, actors, singers, athletes, film directors, authors or intellectuals. Turkish people are very proud to be Turkish and they are enthusiastic when it comes to sharing their history and culture with visitors. No matter where you go, people will be more than willing to tell stories about the history of their native cities or towns while showing you the sites. Even though Turkey is quite a modern country, there are many traditions and cultural elements that have survived through the ages. From folk dance and music to literature and art, Turkey's past is celebrated and preserved. If you are considering relocating to Turkey or retiring there, Istanbul is among the best cities in the world to consider. There is an excellent quality of life, very affordable, lots to see and do and most importantly very safe. Istanbul is Turkey's largest city and is the country's principal tourism, economic and cultural center. The temperature ranges from 5 Celsius to 30 Celsius. Summers are typically hot and humid, whereas winters are typically cold and wet but with only a few nights of snowfall. Istanbul has a significant expat community, so you may have a terrific social life and meet people from all over the world thanks to the many historical landmarks and tourist attractions due to this being the place where East meets West, there is always something new to learn. Another huge draw is the diverse cuisine. In Istanbul, you can buy almost any type of food and eat your way across the world. Istanbul's climate is mostly mild, though in the summers it can feel sweltering with the high humidity and in winter you may be surprised with some snow and several ski centers close by. Turkey's way of life is fairly relaxed with a lot of outdoor activities. Enjoying sports, the beach, swimming pools, rivers and hiking are some of the most common recreations. Turkey, being the traditional meeting point of East and West, is rich in culture from many countries, and the people are kind and eager to include you in their daily lives. Many people ask if Turkey is a good destination to settle down after retirement. The answer is simple. Given Turkey's developing economy, excellent health care, modest cost of living and flexible regulations, if you are willing to give your job and have sufficient finances, Turkey is an excellent destination to retire.
The entire region which encompasses a considerable portion of the Turkish south coast benefits from several factors. It is the second most popular tourist destination in Turkey, as well as the second most popular location for foreign property transactions. The cosmopolitan ambience, which includes a huge city center and small beach resorts, attracts visitors from all over the world, and established expat populations have quickly adapted to Mediterranean life. Expats prefer Antalya because it's active all year, unlike other small resorts that are only open during the tourist season which runs from May to October. When looking at potential locations, keep this in mind. Istanbul is your best option if you want to reside in a big city. According to statistics, life in Istanbul is yet expensive, but with wonderful opportunities to buy properties. Istanbul beauty also continues to attract many travelers and locals. You can buy property in Istanbul in cities, but there are certain rules for rural property and land. Once you have decided to buy a look at property in Turkey, the local real estate agent can walk you through the process. Make sure to get the proper legal advice for any settlement prior to handing over any money to make sure it is all in order. The neighborhoods in Istanbul are completely distinct from one another, as is the price range, which varies greatly depending on the neighborhood. It's best to take a city tour before deciding where you want to live. The weather in Turkey is very pleasant in the summer. You may swim in the water and enjoy the mild air, while in the winter you can go skiing. The warmest place in Turkey in December is Antalya, a city on Anatolia's southern coast. Turkey doesn't have a visa specifically for retirement so you have to apply for a residence permit instead. This requirement applies to anyone who intends to remain in the country more than three months. You'll first have to apply for a short-term residence permit, and you must do so within a month of your arrival in Turkey. There is an online application you fill out on the Turkish Ministry of Interior's website. Once you finish, it will prompt you to make an appointment with the nearest DGMM office to continue the process and pay the fee your visa requires. 
the best options are to apply for a residency permit or to make corporate or personal investments and start looking for business prospects in Turkey. After eight years, you'll be eligible for social security, medical coverage and a pension. And you will be able to begin your long-term residency permit with an indefinite work permit. I will leave you all of the links for governmental institutions of Turkey in the descriptions. Make sure that you will check them carefully. Cuisine includes many different stews of vegetables and meat, lamb and beef primarily, burek, kebab and dolma dishes, and assorted dough bread eaten with almost every meal. Burek is a pastry made of many thin layers of dough interspersed with cheese, spinach and or ground meat. Kebab is the common word for meat roasting in pieces or slices on a skewer or as meatballs on a grill. Dolma is the generic name for dishes made of vegetables like tomatoes or peppers and leaves, grape, cabbage or eggplant that are stewed with or wrapped around rice or bulgur pilaf. In the winter, many Turks eat a breakfast of bread with hot soup. In warmer seasons, they commonly eat bread and jam, hard or soft boiled eggs, white cheese made from sheep's milk, salted olives and warm milk or hot tea with milk. A typical non-meal consists of vegetable and meat stew, with a side dish of rice a bulgur pilaf and salad with fruit or dessert. Sweet desserts such as baklava are served on special occasions. The evening meal is usually lighter, consisting of leftovers from noon or a kebab with salad. Originally, only water is drunk with the noon and evening meals.
at the first glance, you'll need $2,300 to live in Istanbul and the same quality of life will be 6200 in Chicago, Illinois. But at the same time, you see that consumer prices in Istanbul are lower 55% than in Chicago. The same goes with rent, rent prices, restaurant prices and groceries prices. The same is with local purchasing power in Istanbul. And you see that meal for two people in mid-range restaurant will be $80 in Chicago and $27 in Istanbul. Same range goes with beer, cappuccino, coke, water. You see that comparison of any groceries, they are staying almost in the same range. And here you see a number of different types of groceries. Same again goes with transportation. Let's see, a monthly pass would be $80 in Chicago or $32 in Istanbul. Utilities would be in Chicago $164 and Istanbul $68. And you see, as for clothes, these would be almost the same prices if we are not comparing shoes. And for one bedroom outside of city center would be $1,400 and counting in Chicago and almost 400 in Istanbul. I would consider the rent prices as close to mid-range, but it would be a little bit under that mid-range prices, especially what we see in Istanbul here, the prices are a little bit higher. Yes, probably for locals it would be these 400, but as for foreigners, this would be, I would call, at least 20% higher due to the high demand for apartments from foreigners. At the same time, you see that salaries in Istanbul are 90% less than in Chicago.